So today we're going to be making a chicken pot pie bake. What you're going to want to do is add one large can of cream of chicken soup and one large can of cream of mushroom soup. And then you're going to want to blend these together, stir, stir everything and just go ahead and get that a nice even mix. And then what you're going to want to do after that is take a frozen bag of uh, broccoli florets, which is around 12 uh, ounces. And using frozen stuff is going to make this so much easier, quicker, simpler, and you're going to be able to get this right in the oven with less than 10 minutes of uh, prep time. And then back to, back to mixing. You just want to make sure to mix in between so that all of the ingredients are incorporated equally here. So now once you have a pretty good mix on that, the next thing we're going to add is a 12 ounce bag of frozen mixed um, vegetables, which is going to be green beans, carrots, corn. Add that right in there. Go ahead and again mix and incorporate everything together. And then once you've got it pretty well stirred up, the most important ingredient that we're going to add is going to be uh, chicken. Now I'm going to use, um, it's oven roasted diced uh, frozen chicken breast. But if you have some other sort of a chicken, anything that's already pre-cooked or leftover, as long as you're going to use around 10 ounces or so, that is going to be perfect. So get that in there. And go ahead and once again, mix that around. Get everything nice and even. And you want to make sure that when you're done mixing this that you want to make sure to even this out on the top because we want everything to cook evenly. If you have not already done so, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So let's just smooth this out. And then once we have everything fairly even and smooth, we are going to add our cheese topping. Now I'm going to use a triple cheddar cheese, but if you have regular cheddar or I mean pretty much any cheese was, you know, is going to work here. So I'm going to add in around eight ounces of, of this cheese and I'm going to kind of just sprinkle it around and make sure that everything is somewhat covered. And this is going to really give us a nice base for the next part, which is going to be the biscuit topping. Okay, so let's just you can kind of get in there with your hands and smooth that right, right around. Now for the next part, the most exciting part, the part that scares me. We're going to use one of these, um, these are like pre-made biscuits. You can get the eight pack. <laughs> I'm bracing myself. It's not working. <laughs> okay, well, all right, the stress is over. <laughs> So go ahead and take these out and what you're going to want to do is basically just tear each one of these pretty much you know in, in half and that way you're going to get a faster cooking time and you're going to have enough uh, biscuits to cover the entire surface of your casserole and get a nice crispy golden coating on top of everything. So it may take a couple minutes, but you just basically piece them around. And if you have any extra pieces, you just go ahead and fill in those, those gaps because everything is going to cook evenly. So don't worry about what it looks like right now.
we've got one left in the bottom here. So last one. And what you're going to want to do now, hopefully you already have your oven heated up to 350 degrees. You are going to want to go ahead and take this and you're going to want to put it in the oven and bake it for around 50 minutes. And you can go ahead and look inside and watch it. You want these biscuits to be nice and golden brown. And once you get it in there and you bring it back out, go ahead and let it rest for a minute and your meal is going to be perfect. So I'm going to put it in the oven. I'll see you back here in a couple minutes. So chicken pot pie is done. Look at how beautiful this is and how yummy this is going to be. This is going to serve anywhere from 9 to 12 people. And this is going to be a great meal for either family or friends, any sort of a thing that you've got with a lot of people coming over. There's nobody that's not going to like this. Now, I'm not going to cut into this one per se because we're actually going to donate this. Um, and th that way, you know, we're giving back to the uh, community and giving them something that is really, really delicious at the same time.